Okay, so there may have been one skill that you need that I happen to leave off the list of skills, and <laughs> you'll have to know how to install applications without my help. Um, so we're going to be installing two things today. We're going to be installing the JDK and Eclipse. The JDK is the uh, Java development kit essentially, and it includes a Java runtime environment and uh, compiling stuff, tools, debugging tools, and stuff like that. Yeah, we need it basically. Um, so hop on over to this page. Uh, I'll put that in the description. Um, go ahead and click download. Accept the license agreement and then go ahead and download uh, the respective JDK for your operating system. Go ahead and download, install all that, blah 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 blah. And then you're going to want to hop over to eclipse.org uh, slash downloads. Go ahead and select your operating system and go ahead and download it. I've already got both of these, so I'm just going to skip straight ahead to what we need to do next. So you're going to get, uh, you know, an eclipse blah 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 dot zip uh, file or some shit. Uh, just go ahead and extract that uh, and place it wherever you like. I placed it in the root of my C directory. And so whenever you want to open up Eclipse, just go into the directory and then just open it eclipse.exe. We're not going to open it up yet, we just want to do a bit more setup. Um, you're going to want to create a folder for your, uh, you know, your project basically. So I'm going to call this my game, okay? Uh, I'm putting it in the root of my C. You can put this wherever you like, it really does not matter. So we're going to create a my game folder or whatever your game's called, right? In there, uh, you know, just put in folders you like, whatever, you know, so uh, I don't know, images, uh, you know, sounds that you're going to have, uh, you know, just uh, extra crap, uh, some planning documents or whatever, whatever, whatever you need, okay? Put all the folders that you need, but the most important one you are going to need is a workspace folder, okay? And you'll see what this is for in just a second. Alright, so go ahead and fire up Eclipse. And it's going to ask you for a workspace, so we're going to go ahead and browse to the workspace folder that we created inside uh, your game folder. So just go ahead and select workspace, OK and OK. Once it's opened up, you can go ahead and close out this uh, welcome stuff, and you'll get your workspace. Now, I like to sort this out, uh, so this is how I like to lay out my workspace. I like to close problems, close Java doc, close decla declaration, minimize outline, and minimize package explorer. Okay, so one thing you might be uh, asking uh, that I haven't really answered is, what the hell is Eclipse? Um, Eclipse is basically the place where you can write your code. You can use other applications such as NetBeans or Notepad++ or even just, you know, good old Notepad to write your code and then compile it manually. However, Eclipse just makes everything uh, easier with, you know, syntax highlighting, a uh, nicely laid out package explorer, and you can just directly run your applications here. E Eclipse is great. So, now that we've got Eclipse ready, let's go ahead and make our first project. So you're going to go into the Package Explorer, which will be here. Right click, New, Java Project. Uh, you can see here that I might have different you know, options to you. Don't, don't worry about that. And you're going to go ahead and create a Java Project. Uh, I'm just going to call this uh, my, my project. And you're going to, uh, if you open it up, you'll see two things. You'll see the JRE system library, which is just all the Java crap, you'll, and you'll see a source folder. That's where all your code goes. Alright? That's where all your code goes. And we're going to go ahead and create a new class file. A, jar, a new Java class. Right? We're going to name this main. This is going to be our main class. This is going to be the first class or file or whatnot that Java looks for when uh, it's going to run our code, okay? This is going to be the class it looks for. You can name it whatever you want. I usually name it main or whatever the project's called. So what you might be asking now is, okay, well if I name it whatever I like, how does Java know that that's, you know, the main class, that's the class it has to go to first? Uh, well, you'll see in just a second. Um, what is a class? It's Think of it as a file. Just think of it as literally a file with all your code in, okay? Uh, uh, that's, um, that's what I'm going to tell you for now. All right. So uh, I don't like the way this looks. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to mess around with with the editor a bit. Okay. So 
if you just go over here around here and right click and then show line numbers that's going to be essential um, I'm also going to go into window preferences general appearance colors and fonts Java Java editor text edit and I'm gonna pick a new font so I'm gonna I, I quite like droid sans mono I had to download that off the internet so yeah uh, and I'm gonna pick size 12 and that looks good I like that okay that looks good I'm gonna press OK now I'm not a fan of how you know Eclipse looks in terms of you know its color its color scheme so I'm gonna go ahead and change this up and to do that I need to install a plugin so I'm gonna go into help install new software I'm gonna hit add and then name you can put whatever location go ahead and copy this this will also be in the description okay and this is only if you want to change your color theme and then you you know click the checkbox then you go next next finish finish I've already got this installed so I don't need to do that And after you've installed that go into window preferences and general appearance color theme okay here's where you can change it you can you know have a look through all these blah 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 however I'm a fan of obsidian so I'm gonna hit apply okay and okay this is yeah it's fine so this is the, this is the theme I tend to use back to my point about uh, how does Java know um, which is the main class uh, it's gonna look for the class that has a main method so we're gonna go public static void. Just copy what I'm doing. Don't don't worry. I'll explain this to you in just a second. Now Java will look uh, for this main method. Okay, whatever class has this main method, that's the method it will execute first. So uh, let, let's go through this word by word. Public. Uh, we'll talk about that in a different tutorial. Static. We'll talk about that in a different tutorial. Void, we'll talk about that in a different tutorial. Main, okay, well, yeah, that, that's the key word that it looks for, okay? Uh, it has to be, you know, spelt like this, it has, it has to be in all lowercase, you can't have, can't have any of that crap, no, no. It has to be, like, for fuck's sake, it has to be like that, alright? And ignore that, just forget about it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go system. Dot out. Dot print lin. And that's gonna print a line. And in here, in uh, speech marks or quotation marks, or whatever the hell you wanna call them, these things, um, put those in. And we're gonna type in hello world. Okay, if you if you wanna be a rebel, type in anything else. Feel free, but this is. <laughs> This is where most programmers start out. That's usually most programmers' first words. We're going to hit play. And there we have it. Hello world, right in the console. And now that I think about it, I want to minimize the console as well. So, it's there. Okay, I, I like it there. Um, now you're thinking, okay, whoa, well this isn't giving me like a window, you know, with like, you know, a game like Windows. What's this crap, okay? Um, I'll tell you. Essentially, when you export and you know distribute your Java program right now, uh, it will run in the command prompt, uh, and when you run it, it will come up with "Hello World" in the command prompt or the terminal if you're on Mac or Linux. That's because we're building a console application right now, not you know a, an application with a window. That's because when you're just starting out, you start with console applications. Okay, we don't go into you know no GUI shit like that. No. Okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry to break it to you, but for the next, you know, like 20 or so episodes, you're gonna have to learn this, and trust me, you will need all these uh, skills that we're gonna learn while creating a co while creating console applications. Um, you know, but I guarantee you by the end of this 50, 50 tutorial series, you will have a game, okay? You will have all the skills and the knowledge to make a game. So, stay with me, trust me. Stick by this series, and hopefully you'll have a brilliant finished product. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learnt a lot from it that you didn't know before. I'd suggest leaving a like, comment, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.